safe canoe stayed from backdoor power hijackers. Governor Kabiri, you see, begs Nigerians ahead of Supreme Court battle. So sad. The Abbey Court had, in its judgment on Friday, agreed with the judgment of the tribunal that sacked Abba Yusuf. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The embattled Kano State Governor Abba Kabiru, Kabiri Yusuf has called on Nigerians to save the state from injustice of mischief makers who are desperately scheming to hijack power through the back door and return the state to the dark ages. Sahara reporters earlier reported that the governor said his team and the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, would be heading for the Supreme Court to achieve the ruling of the Appeal Court removing him from the Kano governorship seat. The Appeal Court had, in its judgment on Friday, agreed with the judgment of the tribunal that sacked Abba Yusuf. The three-member panel of the Court of Appeal, led by Mor Adumen in a unanimous judgment, also declared Nasari. Gan Wana of the All Progressive Congress APC, the winner of the 18th March governorship election in Canon State. The tribunal had declared Ga Wuna of the APC the winner of the election after invalid vote cast in favor of Yusuf. But the Court of Appeal, in addition to that, disqualified Yusuf as a candidate in the election on the grounds that he was not a member of the NNPP as of the time of the election. Reacting on Sunday, Governor Yusuf labored the ruling of the appeal court as a miscarriage of justice. The governor said, after careful study and rigorous stakeholders' engagement, my team and the new Nigerian People Party, NNPP, have decided to approach the Supreme Court on a miscarriage of justice delivered by the appeal court yesterday in Abuja. We are optimistic that the Supreme Court will, by the grace of Allah, sweep, will set aside these miscarriages of justice by the tribunal and the appeal court and reaffirm our mandate as given by the good people of Canon State. Furthermore, I recall on the I call on the good people of the Kano state to continue to go about their legitimate businesses as we have taken all the necessary measures to ensure the security of their lives and property as a cardinal responsibility. This tempora temporary setback will not defer our administration from its commitment to continue with uh, laudable projects and programs targeted of restoring the lost glory of the state. We are rolling out main initiatives to deliver dividends of the democracy to the citizens and residents of Canon State. Finally, I call on the good people of the state and other well-meaning Nigerians to continue to pray for Allah's mercy and protection to save the state from the injustice of mischief makers who are desperately scheming to ajack power through the back door and return the state to the dark ages. Hmm. Nigerians will say there is fire on the mountain. It happens to Governor Wiki then and he still won at the Supreme Court. Your victory is sure at the Supreme Court. There is no need to contest election in Nigeria, especially now that the Nigerian courts are the ones awarding victory under exact instances. They give different judgments. They, they will set this country ablaze one fateful day. Enemies, labors in vain. Your victory as the governor of Kanu State is well-deserved 
What happened in Imo State is playing out in Kanu State. APC wants Kanu State by all means. What we have is the government of the court, by the court and for the court. That is exactly what is playing out in Nigeria today. APC needs Kanu State for 2027 election. So they will do everything monetarily, ritually, and fundamentally or frontlently to take the state except God intervention. That is the bad president Buhari said in Imo that Supreme Court Governor Legacy. If this APC find his way to government house in Kano, then let's forget about election in Nigeria. My joy is that a day will surely come when all of us will give an account of whatever we have done why on earth. And the beauty of that particular day is that we are going to be judged by an impartial judge who don't take bribe nor look at one's class or status. The revolution we are waiting for might start from current states. There is a man from Southeast that said Nigeria don't have judiciary. If you have your, your fat with you, there is nothing to fear. Go ahead, you will get justice. Let the right thing be done. He started where and he will succeed. Esha Allah, APC are only planning for 2027 because they cannot win any election again without pure rigging. And the last election was an eye opener. Now, from not the while I go start from, make APC continue to pocket judiciary. So, guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.